Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Fishing with James. Today I'm going to be showing you the process of powder painting crappie jig heads. It's actually pretty easy and the jig heads I have in my hand are the ones I'll be showing you how to paint today. There's a solid color, a double color, and then a speckled design on the far right. So with that, let's go ahead and talk about what we're going to need to get started today. So everything I have laid out here is what we'll need to paint our jigs. First up, we have a small little jet torch. These can be found at most convenience stores. Then of course we have the paint, a small emery board, our jig heads of course, and then a pair of forceps. Also, everything I have here is linked down in the description of this video. So first we're just going to take one of our jig heads and start filing it down using the emery board. Now you might not even have to do this, but since the jig heads we use are custom poured, there's often a little nub of metal at the front from when they're broken off out of the mold. So by filing them down, we make sure that we get a nice smooth paint job at the end. So the first jig I'm going to be doing today is a solid color. So I've got this black Protec powder paint here. And the first thing I'm going to do is take a small stick of some sort and stir the paint up to get a nice fluffy consistency. I'm using a paintbrush right here just because it'll be used in a later jig, but anything that'll stir the paint will work. Once the paint is nice and stirred up, we're just going to take our forceps and grab a hold of the jig on the eye. It's important to grab it here just so that no paint gets stuck in there when we paint it. Once the paint is all stirred up, we're going to take our jet torch and evenly heat all sides of the jig. I do around 3-4 to four seconds for each facet of the jig. It's important not to underheat it because then the paint won't stick to the jig head very well, but if you overheat it then the paint will clump up really bad. Also it's very easy to melt the metal on these jig heads, but once you've done a few it's very intuitive. Once it's heated up you quickly shake it down in the paint and make sure to knock off all the excess powder paint on the edge of the container. At this point I'll sometimes take my jet torch and kind of hit all the sides one more time just to make sure there's no powder left and the paint is evenly on there. So here's a completed solid colored jig head. Once you're done painting you'll just need to find somewhere to let this jig hang for a little while to cool down. Also make sure to stick around to the end of this video because there's a very crucial step that has to be done to all these jigs after they've cooled off. But for now let's move on to the next color. So the next jig head I'm going to be doing is a half and half black and white jig head. Of course you can do any two colors you want but for this one I'm going to be using black and white. So the first steps are exactly the same as the last one. We're just going to heat up our jig head on all sides. So the color I'm going to dip it in first is the color that I want on top of the jig. And for this jig, it's going to be black. So I'm going to take my black paint and just as the last time, dip it in real quick and shake off the excess. Now, since the belly of this jig head is going to be white, I'm just going to take my white paint and very slowly dip the bottom half of the jig head into the paint, just like that. And now we're left with a black and white painted jig head. Now same as the last one, I'm just going to hang it up on my drying rack over here to cool off for a little bit. Now remember, these two jig heads are not done yet. There's one very important step that has to be done at the end, but first I'm going to hit the last color real quick. Now this last pattern is where the artist paintbrush comes into play, so I'm going to be dipping it down into the white paint here since it's the one I'm going to be speckling onto the jig and set it off to the side for a minute. Same as all the other ones, we're going to take our jig head and heat it up on all sides first. Now again, we're just going to take it and dip it down into the black paint first. And unfortunately on this jig head, I missed a tiny spot of paint on there. And so I'm going to have to take my torch and reheat it just a little bit and go for a second dip. This is not ideal, but if done carefully, it will not make a big difference at all. So there we go. Now it's fixed. Now for the second color, I'm just going to take the artist paintbrush and slowly tap the paint out of the paintbrush onto the jig head while it's still hot. Now depending on how much of the second color you want on the jig, that's going to determine how much you need to put on at this step. It looks like I'm putting a lot of white on this jig head, but as you'll see in just a moment, whenever I hit it again with the torch, it is actually not going to be all that much. Now also of course you can just speckle paint on half of the jig if you want. If you want to do a half and half design with some speckled paint, you can do that too, but for this one I'm just going to be doing a full jig head. Now what I'm going to do is just go over the jig head again with the torch just to make sure the white paint sets good. What you'll notice is that the white paint kind of clumps together a little bit and it reduces the amount of white that's actually on the jig. And once you're done with that, you're left with this awesome double colored speckled jig head. If you're into tying jigs, you can make a lot of really cool jigs using this speckled pattern. Like for me, I did this really cool cookies and cream jig and I put more black paint on the top of it to match the back better. The sky's the limit when it comes to painting jigs like this. But now on to the last step. So you can fish these jigs right after the are done cooling but over time the paint's going to want to chip on you. So what you have to do is bake these jigs to help harden the paint. So what I've got here is a little clamp and I'm going to take these jigs one by one and push them down into the clamp just like that. Now the time and temperature that you have to cook these jigs at can usually be found on the side of the container of paint but I also found this list showing a bunch of different colors and how long and how hot to cook them for. So with that I hope you all enjoyed this video. As always I would really appreciate it if you liked, commented, and shared this video with a friend and consider subscribing to this channel if you aren't already. I'll be posting more tip videos just like this in the very near future. And until then, I'll see you all on the next episode 
of Fishing with James.